I'm here with Dr. Sadad Al Husseini, President of Husseini Energy and former Executive VP of Saudi Aramco. Good morning, Dr. Al Husseini. Good morning. Um, first question I want to ask you, a big one. Where do you see oil prices going over the next six months or so? Well, I think the uh, markets are starting to respond to the low prices. The demand is certainly getting stronger. So I'm a little bit on the optimistic side. I, I, don't, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if oil prices clear $45, $50 in Brent and, and get into the near 60s. And do you see OPEC changing course? The major players in OPEC, of course, are Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and uh, UAE. And they don't have a change of strategy coming up that soon. However, I think they do uh, monitor the market very closely. Uh, they don't want to destroy the market. And uh, I, I believe that as the summer evolves, they may well be a strategy towards the latter part of 2016. Mm -hmm. I mean, this has been a topic that's been in the industry for years, but do you see any prospect of cooperation with non-OPEC producers at any point? Well, both OPEC and non-OPEC major producers have common interests. Uh, they want the industry to be vital. They, they want prices to support investments. In the long term, they don't have to cooperate in a technical way, uh, but, but the technology also does transfer across the world. So, in effect, they are already cooperating. Uh, they already have the same interests. And we've seen with the low oil price, I mean, a big impact on the industry. But do you expect to see more consolidation in the industry or mainly cost cutting? Well, definitely within the U.S. there are many smaller producers. Uh, some of the local service companies are going to find it very difficult to sustain operations. So they may well consolidate. Uh, but the overall, the big industries uh, the big service companies, they've already done a lot of consolidation. We've seen that with the Halliburton, Baker, and Slumberjay. So we are uh, really reducing ourselves to mega service companies, and uh, this is the outcome of the low prices. Mm -hmm. A new era for the industry, perhaps. It is, and it does require larger companies with more resources, more capabilities, uh, a global footprint uh, on one hand, but the smaller companies are the source of the innovation, so I hope that doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, five years ago, it would never have been on the, on, the, on the agenda of a conference like this, but climate change seems to be rising in prominence. And how do you think the industry should respond to the challenge? Well, climate change is a very broad subject, and uh, it has to take into consideration the economics of the less developed eco countries, uh, the requirements for higher standards of living, uh, the need for energy in general, for power across the world. So a, a gradual uh, introduction of climate-related policies may be inevitable, but it should not be destructive as far as the less developed economies are concerned. Mm -hmm. And finally, just want to ask you a question about the conference itself. I mean, you've been coming for, for many, time, many years yourself, and what, what brings you back to oil and money? And well, there's no doubt that oil money is the platform, the venue, uh, where a lot of the issues that uh, affect the industry, political, economic, technical, uh, global economy growth uh, or lack of growth, all of these issues get uh, debated very intensely. So this is a very informative conference, and that's why I come back. And if you don't mind me asking, what would your biggest takeaway be from this year? Well, I believe there was a point very well made uh, by Dr. Bernard Druck, and uh, the point is the elasticity of supply. Uh, it's, it's easy to say that demand is uh, undercutting uh, the investments, and as a result, uh, there's less and less money spent in the oil industry. But that really means that supply will be uh, very difficult uh, to attain increases in supply when that demand does recover. And uh, this is a very likely challenge in 2016.